I explained collector feedback biasing in the last lecture. Now we will solve one numerical problem based on collector feedback biasing. In this problem, VCC is equal to 20 volts. The biasing potential is equal to 20 volts. Resistance RC is equal to 1 kilo ohms. Resistance RC is equal to 1 kilo ohms. Resistance RB is equal to 100 kilo ohms. Resistance RB is equal to 100 kilo ohms and we need to determine the coordinates of operating point the coordinates of operating point are IC and VCE IC is the collector current or the output current and VCE is the potential difference between these two points VCE collector is at the higher potential and emitter is at the lower potential so VCE is having this polarity beta is equal to 100 the amplification factor is equal to 100 and first I will calculate the value of collector current IC and for this we need to calculate the value of base current IB I will apply Kirchhoff's voltage law in the input loop and we have we have VCC minus current through resistance RC is equal to IC plus IB you can easily calculate the current in this branch by applying KCL on this node so we have IC plus IB multiplied with 1 kilo ohms the drop across this resistance is equal to IC plus IB multiplied with 1 kilo ohm minus IB multiplied with 100 kilo ohms drop across this resistance minus VBE and VBE VBE is equal to 0 0.7 volts because in the problem it is already mentioned that we are using silicon transistor so VBE is equal to 0 0.7 volts so we have minus 0 0.7 volts equal to 0 and IC is equal to beta times IB and when you simplify this equation you will have base current IB equal to VCC minus 0 0.7 volts divided by inside the bracket beta plus 1 times 1 kilo ohms this is resistance RC plus 100 kilo ohms 100 kilo ohms is the value of resistance RB VCC is equal to 20 volts beta is equal to 100 so we have 101 multiplied with 1 kilo ohm plus 100 kilo ohm so in the denominator we have 201 kilo ohms and when you subtract 0 0.7 volts from 20 volts you have 19.3 volts so after solving this the value of base current IB is equal to 0 0.0.096 0 milliamps or we can write IB equal to 96 microamps so this is the value of base current now we can easily calculate the collector current collector current IC is equal to beta times IB beta is equal to 100 so we will multiply 100 with 96 microamps or we can write 9.6 milliamps so this is the answer the Y coordinate of the operating point the next thing is the calculation of voltage VCE for this we will apply Kirchhoff's voltage law in the output loop we will start from VCC and end at 0 volts that is the ground so we have 20 volts minus IC plus IB multiplied with 1 kilo ohms 1 kilo ohms then we have minus VCE minus VCE equal to 0 when you solve this you will have VCE equal to 10.304 volts so this is the X coordinate of the operating point so the operating point is equal to 9.6 milliamps and value of VCE is equal to 10.304 volts so this is the final answer of this numerical problem it's a very easy numerical problem now we will move to the homework problem in the homework problem 
in the homework problem you have to find out the operating point when beta is equal to 150 instead of taking beta equal to 100 we have beta equal to 150 all the other parameters will remain same so you have to calculate the operating point for beta equal to 150 and once you have your answer post it in comment section i will end this lecture here see you in the next one